It's early morning and these 14 to 18 year olds have been called to muster. It's all part of cadet training and perhaps discovering what becoming a soldier in the future may entail. Leading the morning drill is A Company Sergeant Major, who is also the Lord Lieutenant's cadet for Hereford and Worcester. You've met royalty? Yeah, I met... <laughs> met um, Princess Anne and she actually turned up to the event. She drove herself to the event. She's very cool. <laughs> so you just opened the door for her because um, she drove herself. Um, and then the Countess of Wessex was at the other event and that was at a wheelchair basketball event in Worcester University. The role only goes on for about a year um, and then after that it changes to the next person so everybody really gets a, a year in the, in the role. At the annual camp this year, uh, it's a bit sad because it's my last one, but I've been with the juniors all week which is great because it's great to see the next load of the cadets, so they're the, they're the future really. Are you ready for inspection, Mum? Right. Also part of cadet training is to make sure That's that the four. bed space is clean um, and the bed is dressed okay, to perfection. No Bottom, that, that, that's nearly a five, it's nearly a five. That's their um, third inspection of this week. Um, we are um, on the whole doing kit inspection and then a room inspection, although they're doing adventure training a lot, half of them this today, so therefore room inspections only. Um, and they were taught on the first day how to do a, a, a bed block um, and they were told what our, um, what our expectations are as far as what their kit room should look like. Um, so uh, they have to make sure that their blanket is you know, um, nice and flat and no wrinkles, um, that they've swept the floor, no rubbish on, on the floor at all. Um, and yeah, they're graded on a sliding scale of one to five. And today we got our first fives. I'm happy because I got good marks, <laughs> but it's a bed. So, <laughs> you know. Right! After the muster and the kit inspection, the non-uniformed cadets go to the outdoor sports, while those in uniform take part in adventurous activities such as paintballing. So what we're doing today is um, we're doing a round robin of activities and in this stand we're doing uh, close quarters paintballing, which basically means the cadets will have a paintball gun and uh, various targets throughout the course um, and their role is to uh, quickly dock between each target trying to find them as soon as possible and uh, react as quick as possible and to be as accurate uh, as they can. See where you aim? Yeah. Aim there again. After about six years in the cadets, as a cadet, um, I sort of saw that side of things so taking part in all the activities thought well why waste it now so after, uh, after those six years, I've uh, decided to look at the other side of cadets, help out, um, come back as an adult instructor and just basically help them um, do what all the adult volunteers do. Stand up, keep muzzle pointing forwards, okay, move forwards and then round into the gully. Well done. Well, it's hard with my hand at the moment because I hurt it. Like, I just bent it back really bad, but like, yeah. But like, it was fine, yeah, but it's heavy as well. How did you find it? And as the paintballing comes to a close, as will the annual camp, it's just time to take cover from the rain and have a debrief. Jesse Phillips, Forces News, Informby.